Unfortunately, there's no, well, why can't Metro crawl, but this will do. Hello guys, what is up? I am Liam 121 and welcome to episode 6 of my blind playthrough of AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake for the PC last time. We found more uh, Gamma Metroids and explored more of this new area we called, uh, wait, I actually forgot what this area is, it's been a while. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh yeah, the mining facility. Oh yeah, that's because we did use some of the mining uh, um, stuff there just now. In this episode, it's time we go even deeper down, shall we? Into the mine facility as we find more Metroids. We got to hide for more. Hey, and you are here on the channel. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for our content if you're new, and ring that bell because I find any time on this channel. Last episode on the card up here. Also, I'm not alone. Introduce yourself, my new guest. Hello. <laughs> nice voice there. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I, just felt, I just felt like being weird. Triple logs, SPCF map. The campsite's done for. Pulling as well. We ran for the elevator when a jellyfish metroid got the drop on him. That idiot shoved a demolition bomb in his mouth. Next thing I know, I knocked off my feet. Elevator's covered in rubble, and the metroid casually floats off. Damn it, Blaine. Our tech doesn't work like errands. I didn't let it leave my sight. Trailed it till it laid down and changed color. It's payback time. Whoa. Okay. I just realized I didn't even say my name. Hello, I'm Celtus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Oh, uh, well, I have space jump, but. I just pulled the riddles. I just entirely spaced on saying my name at all. Uh, apparently, you did. I assume this is where I can go. I mean, Space Jump obviously makes uh, things very open, so I have no idea where I need to go next. No. I can't actually see your screen, by the way. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Does a commentary stream without even uh, putting that up. Great job, Wee. Yes, I was, I was trying to commentate. Oh, crap! Oh, somebody at the bar! Of all places you will come from, uh. What the law? No, I meant from the right side. Because I checked the left side and he wasn't there. Oh, well, you can say it was a surprise. Oh. Oh, I thought I could snipe him. Stop dodging, bruh. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. So if I try aiming them from the back, they do not try to dodge. Good to know. Okay. Sometimes they don't. But it seemed like when I was attacking from the back that they don't. Maybe that was just me. Also, I really thought there would be an item here, honestly. It seemed too uh, perfect. If there's one... I doubt there's one. I don't remember if there was. But in oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This looks, this looks possible. Also, I do think that there is a. Uh, side spot. Hey, wait, what? Wait, what? I think there's like an item in that in that cha in that uh, shaft. This one here. No, the, the one to the right that you were going into. It's Shine Spark. I don't remember where it was. Not there. But at least I know that the Shine Spark is possible, so... There's that fact. It's been too long since I've actually done the rain. But I think there's one in that room. Somewhere. Doesn't... Doesn't look like, though. I wasn't able to do it. I think it's... It's literally in the lava. I don't know if you can do it without gravity. Uh... Well then, I'll save it for later. Hang on, speaking of- I, well, firstly, I did notice there's some extra land at, uh, below the lava there, so... Yeah, this is taking it towards a, uh, another Metroid to kill, I think. Yeah, I think there's a Metroid in that room. Oh, oh dear, with these things? Great. Yep. 
You were saying? The room specifically, because of those things. That's true. Now I assume the lava will drop down on the other side. Yeah, there it is. So I assume the lava from the other side is going to drop, but... Yeah, in fact the lava on here also looks a bit lower than before. I don't remember if the lava drops in this room, but yeah, the room you just pass that had lava and it will drop. No surprise with the the platform I saw earlier. Oh, or maybe not. Oh wait, no, it's the other side then. That's what I was, That's what I thought I said. So that one right here. The lava did go down. I'm just trying to think of where. Not there, apparently. Uh, what did I have not checked? Where can you go on the map? Not much. Maybe somewhere else? Oh, please, please. Go back up on the map. Yeah, basically just go, keep going up, right? I said keep going back up, I should say. I wanted to see if there was a section. Uh, go to the left? I mean, that was where I came from, I believe. Oh, is that? Yeah, the thing right here. I can't do this anymore. Is this this entire thing, side section? Is it, is it just like side section? It's not part of the game. So wait a minute, hang on. Here. I didn't actually think. I didn't actually consider the possibility of the some of the place being uh, breakable. No, I think I'm about it. Yeah, because there's this whole section right here. I don't think it is. Then how you get up there, that's the thing. Unless... Yeah, it's probably super past the rooms. Maybe? I just don't remember. Oh dear, that was not why I was uh, thinking what happened with the physics. You need to get out of that. <laughs> yeah, I, that wasn't what I was thinking of that would happen with the physics. Yeah, okay, so you're in the, uh, the mine area. You yep. have to go all the way back up towards area I think, 3. Ah, uh, that makes sense. And then go down the main shaft down towards area 4. Oh, I got it. I was hoping... Hang on. I know this is probably improbable, but I might as well try. Wait, what? No? Okay. Thought there might be something on there, but it turns out not. So that is satisfying. This kind of is always satisfying. Interesting. That one's, that one's got a rock that you can't go through there. There we go. I'm thinking also with the space jump that I have that even more areas are open <laughs> from the previous areas, I assume. Well, primarily item checks. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking. Wait, hang on. I see something. <laughs> but yeah, on the map, you see that spot to the left that has the tunnel down? Hang on, before you, uh... Just uh, let me check something. Yeah, 
perfectly there is a way I was suspecting like why well, Hans wants to get up there, and there it is. Yep, you, have oh. to get, uh, you have to get a ball down there. How do I get up there? That's the question. Oh, like there's supposed to be a ball. I know. So, what this means is that you can't do this until after you do Area 5. What? Okay. Oh yeah, I guess there's yeah. this thing. Okay. Yep, yeah, Area 5 spawns those items in certain spots in the map. Um, and once you do that, then you get access to those uh, uh, items. You can then open up those rooms. That being said, with a randomizer, all that's automatically open. Thought there might be something there. See that tunnel on the left, though? That's going down? Yeah, that's I see it. I mostly. I, I mean, I. At that time, just now, I was thinking, like, wait, that's an area that I haven't explored yet. Maybe there's something that's open. But, consider the fact that that's a. Uh, what's that? That thing again. Looks like uh, I'll have to continue walking backwards. A lot of items aren't unlockable until after you do five. Fun. So a lot of backtracking after after I, I finished the last area, basically. I think this is pretty much well. At least back area five makes it easy for you to backtrack. It has fast warps. Oh. Quick, quick warps. <laughs> what did I say? Fast warps. <laughs> fast lanes. My brain is turning to mush as we speak. How? Ooh, those things do a bit of damage. Yeah, no, they hurt. Wait a minute. There is an item here. I know that. Talk about it. It's just a mess up. You have to go from underneath. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. You can also just jump towards it and then activate your spray. Wait, what? So you can just jump towards the, the roof and activate your spider. Uh, oh like my jump. goodness, I didn't know you could do that. Ah, there it is. I did yeah. not know you could do that, that's quite cool. That's, oh my god, that just, that just makes that a lot easier to do as well. Jeez. Two ways, yay. Oh, it's a safe point. Yeah, yeah I think you, I was gonna say, I think you have to go right because the left way is the safe point. This should bring you down towards another air, spirit area. 
where if you went go right, you'd be brought to more lava. And if you go left, you'd be brought to area four. Hmm. Whoa. Yep, we're getting into the depths of the planet. I the lava, I assume. Well, I think that spot right there specifically. That wall, I think it's the last part. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it, I can see it. It's not easy to do, but it's not to have to. I think I'm a screw attack lock at one time. Six Metroids. Whoa. Yo, that's cool. Oh, I, th this game has a lot of hard. Oh, try it. Well. I'll say this for the sake of things. Welcome to the tower. I see that. Also, might as well grab this while I'm here. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's other ways to do it. That's one way. Nope. You see what I'm trying to do, right? Yeah, but that's not something that's helpful in this room. No, I'm trying to get the... Oh, wait. No, 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 what I'm talking about. Hang on. I don't know why I was trying to chum at the same time. Ah! Trap! I was too high. Yep. You have to make that run from the right at the top. Got it! I think. Hoi! Let's go! Not bad. Wait, what? I'm saying that shine spark is not easy to do. Hmm. I could tell, considering the chicken is of it. Uh oh. Are those penetrable? Two from underneath, I see. Yes, it's like the, the thing that you really want to I, You know what I also see? An energy grind. Yeah, it's just not as the most <laughs> Also, you don't have something like a grapple beam to help assist on it. Hmm. And this is the tower. I also can hear a bit of Norfair vibes in this music. At least if I can remember the, uh, the name of this area. The tower. Yeah, the tower. This facility is operating on an emergency power supply. Thermal readings indicate that there is at least one functional device located deep inside the building. Ah, oh dear. And I see we need to get there to light up the whole place. That's one way that can be uh, the, this is probably one of the bigger areas in the randomizer for items. Hello? How high does this go? Uh, it's called the tower for a reason. Am I supposed to not come here? I didn't know you could actually fight this thing in the dark. 
Zeta Metroid. After the substantial transformation of its body, the Metroid's power and defenses greatly improve. Though the Zeta Metroid can no longer fly due to its immense weight, its new legs are strong enough to carry and perform great bursts of speed. The arms can deliver powerful strikes, and its mouth lens can spray a high explosive substance. Its two prior forms were akin to a pupil phase, discarding the Gamma's Metroid, a Gamma Metroid's exoskeleton, marked the beginning of its adulthood. Um, These am, things sucked. Am I thoroughly equipped to do to fight this thing? You are. Just, I honestly, for me, I prefer more health. More health. Oh dear. But and probably some lighting as well, because I noticed I can't see here. Like I said, I didn't need to fight this in the dark. <laughs> well, now you know. Uh, I also didn't know you could run from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know that too. Well. Well, now I know that's a thing. Jeez. <laughs> it looks like there's also crumple blocks in that room as well. Oh, thank god that's a safe point. So if I want- if I were to be stupid, I could fight and try to fight him. I wouldn't be yeah, successful, but, but I would could. I mean, at this point, I think the first thing you need to do is go find the power source. Oh, hello! JFRJ Nolan. Most sentient species in the Federation regard the extinct Harmonious Chosen with utmost respect and as an example of what any civilization drowning in violence could, should thrive to become. But this tower I scan, a dedicated weapons factory, suddenly puts that view into question. Yes, I remain positive. Surely, the Chosen resorted to this when they discovered the Metroids on SR388. Any pacifist would after, would after facing those monsters. The climb was certainly worth the view. It's a shame my colleagues aren't alive to see this. SBCF Mac. The campsite's done for. Blaine is. Oh, wait, that's the second one, yeah. So there's our second uh, trooper log. So I assume when I play Metroid 3, the f before I head into. Whoa. Before I head into Kraid, that that um, fallen trooper is a homage to that game. I don't know, because. Uh... The thing is, I played through the original two, uh, Metroid 2. It's hard to tell what's actually on screen. It could be, it also could not be. No, I meant Metroid... Metroid 3. Uh... Metroid 3 is super powerful. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Because, um... There is, um... There is a, there is a like, a trooper that's, like, falling of some sort. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm, I'm saying... Also, I assume I was supposed to come here, I just have to avoid all this. Yep. I mean, you need to kill six Metroids. You know where two of them are, you kill one. Yep. You also need to turn on the power source. Whoa, what's that? Oh yeah, it's really cool. Oh my goodness! The art in this game is amazing. Also, you just missed the E-Tank. I know, I saw the E-Tank. Jeez, that looks incredible. Look, the team that made this game was phenomenal. If you can tell the heart that they put into it. From the scrolling backgrounds to the amazing artwork to all the world building and detailing they did. Not to mention this was all built in the uh, Zero Mission engine. Or at least there are ah, am I supposed to drop down somewhere? Uh, that might be from another room, but I don't remember. Probably, no, no probably. it's it's something. There's there's a hidden compartment up there. I I would suspect. I just don't remember. How to get up there. Could 
maybe further on the left side. That's, that can be easily true. But dude, like, I mean, come on, this looks so amazing. Uh, I had to come from below, I assume. Yep, I don't remember how to get in there, though. You had to get inside, yeah. I was thinking that, too. Well, there's, there's another spot on the left side that's similar, so maybe you can get into there. Alright. Oh, that guy fell with me. He pushed you back up, too. Yeah, that, too. Oh, great, a maze. Yeah, this game loves its mazes. Oh, close. Ah, there it is. Nice. Now the question is how to get to that uh, E-Tank. Dead end? Uh, I don't think No, so. it's not dead end. Wait, then how's... Oh, there we go. Don't know why it was not working just now. It just wasn't attaching. I think there's a spot you can uh, bomb upwards, or try and see if you can continue to go further right. Like this? Like that? Like that? Like that? Perfect. And you should be able to just go straight to the ceiling. No, I can't go through it. No? Okay, then just go back to the maze. Yep. It should be easy. At least the second time. Yeah, I guess I, at least I know somewhat where I'm going. Although I assume with how dark it is that I was supposed to come here when I had like, the lights on. I think this area specifically is dark anyway. Okay, so it's naturally dark. Yeah. Though you do have to go turn on the lights some, at some point. Otherwise, you're not going to find that set of entry. Mm. Well, you could, but it's going to be a pain. You're going to have to uh, spider climb. Well, that's, sli that's slightly annoying, but I got it. Yeah, try standing on that guy. No, that's normally, uh, or fail at. fail at doing it. No, it's taking you down. That's not where you need to be going. It's that's quite like cool up. though that it does that. Uh, try spider climbing and then just try bombing it. Yeah, I was thinking that too. See it? Yeah. Can I back onto the wall? Oh, wait, there's, there's, there's more compartment there. Let's get tricky again. There we go. And this is where I fall down. Nice! Alright. And this is just the other side of the tower. Yep. You notice something different about the side of the tower. Uh oh. You're now trapped. Wait, is that a bad thing? I mean, yes and no. You're now stuck trying to turn on the power. Oh dear. But remember where this room is. You're gonna need that power up. What power up? Oh, the that power up. Duh. Duh, the power that was inside the room that you passed by, Joel. What are you think talking about? I'm pretty sure that's screw attack. Ooh. Also, another item right there somewhere. Awesome. Power bomb. Oh dear. Wait, what? On the floor. Oh. Just keep going down, I see. Okay. 
be wary of this room when you come back through. Because those things will be on. Ah, uh, the fan. I assume those are fans. Uh, no. They're electric conduits. Oh. On the right side of the wall. Man, the fact that it's like, it's so dark. So it's very hard for me to see like where I need to go. Is that the power thingy? Uh, you're gonna have to uh, get into a ball. Whoa! This is cool! Lock entry updated. The immense tower houses a weapons R&D facility. Research and development. The robots patrolling within are combat drones equipped with weapon prototypes and advanced shield plating. They possess superior AI, artificial intelligence, and are programmed to fire at any living target, keeping the tower with sterilized of organic matter very efficiently. Proceed with caution. Well, I'll proceed with caution next time.